Hi everyone, welcome to Life with Loki. Today I will be bringing you on a very special food vlog in the middle of Singapore in Chinatown and this is at Red Star Restaurant. As you can tell, there is a very long queue because this place specializes in authentic Cantonese cuisine and dim sum. Uh, as you can tell, it is so popular among the locals because they make excellent dim sum. So come along with me. Dim sum and yam cha. Yam cha literally means to drink tea and so describes the act of drinking tea whether it be in the morning or in the afternoon. Dim sum which means to touch the heart refers to the collection of small Chinese bites often steamed and fried dumplings. So today we have decided to check out this place because it is so popular among the locals and this is where families gather on the weekend to indulge in this experience of dim sum. So we were seated quite quickly although there was a bit of a queue today and we're just waiting for the first push cut to arrive to select what we would like to order today. Oh there you go, the first sighting of the first push cut. Let's see what they have in store. Let's start our dim sum with this century egg congee. The century egg or pi tan is a Chinese delicacy also known as the 100 year egg or 1000 year egg. This special way of preservation turns the yolk to a creamy texture with strong flavour while the whites of the egg turns dark jelly-like but with very little taste. Okay, so we have stopped this push cut because we have spied something really delicious and we have been longing to try this for a while. So. Let's just have a look. So this is also known as cha siu so, which is barbecue pork pie. And you would also have noticed that for dim sum, the delicacies come in threes or fours. So just as a local tip is to bring a group of three or four friends to enjoy this dim sum together. Hmm, so you can see how nice and flaky the pastry of this barbecue pork pie is. And of course right in the middle we have the barbecue pork which is quite sweet and I quite like it. Mm, so this is one of my favourites for dim sum and this is Ha Chong Fan which is shrimp rice noodle rolls. So if you've never had it before, this is something like a spring roll but the Chinese version of it. It is made in rice flour and they try to get the skin as thin as possible. Right in the centre, you get like three or four really huge juicy chunks of prawn. And of course, you we have a bit of like a sweet um, black sauce, which uh, goes really well um, with this uh, ha chong fan. Ooh, I get so excited when I see a push cart uh, containing these bamboo containers because it means that you know, there are so many goodies that it brings. Let's just see what we got here. This is known as the feng jiao, which is chicken feet. And in the other bamboo container, uh, we have ha gao, which is a crystal shrimp dumplings. So feng jiao is also known as phoenix claws, which is also known as chicken feet. These are stewed in savory sauce and what I like about it is the flavorful gelatinous skin, which is so amazing and just full of collagen. So ha gao is also known as crystal shrimp dumplings. Traditionally, ha gao should have at least 7 to 10 or more pleats imprinted on its wrapper. The skin must be thin and translucent, yet be sturdy enough not to break when picked up with chopsticks. Mm, 
Hmm, just spying on this trolley that has come by. Looks like I spy egg tarts over there. Should I? Hmm, so we were already quite full from breakfast. Um, our breakfast dim sum. So just, uh, just a quick review of the menu if any of you are interested. There are so many varieties that we could have, would have eaten. So we have decided to call it a day. Thank you for joining us on this food vlog to a dim sum place. As you can tell, this place has won so many awards uh, for its dim sum. So if you do swing by Singapore, just make sure to pop by this place on your visit. Thank you for joining us again. Please subscribe to my channel and join me in my next food vlog. Thank you and goodbye.